All right. So this is my video for my internship. Um, so just going straight into it. My name is Donna Collin. Um, I'm a senior, and this summer I uh, interned with the city of Sarsfield as a sport and wellness intern. So going into it, some of the daily tasks really varied day to day, depending on the weather, what we had going that night, like what sport was going, um, what sport was going that week. Uh, so it just changed day to day. So a lot of the daily tasks um, really revolved around assisting the director in areas that are just needed at the time, uh, whether that's coming into the office, helping with um, office work, whether that's, you know, help set up fields uh, or, you know, going out there and doing concessions and, and doing anything like that. Um, you're really just a person that they go to to help out with with anything. And uh, that's where I'm going at with, with um, helping assist in areas that are needed. I change all the time um, and you do a lot of everything. Um, then going into the next one, assisting uh, crew to set up fields and, and help repair them as well. Uh, but this is mostly on inclement weather days where it's raining a bunch, uh, thunderstorms or something like that. And you've got to get the fields up really fast for a tournament that weekend. Um, going out there, doing that, fixing up the fields. We don't, you, you don't do that as much, but uh, like I said, when it's, when it's bad weather, that, that's really important. Uh, there was one day where it rained so much the, uh, the morning that we had to get it all hands on deck out there um, during the fields, cleaning out new you know, uh, dirt, getting it all soaked up and fresh and ready to go for a tournament that night. So um, doing stuff like that, it's, it's super important that when you're not canceling games. Um, going to the next daily test, taking inventory, fall out of the concession, and then, uh, then that Monday, watering it and then restocking it later that week. It's super important that way you have enough food in the concessions uh, and, and, you know, soaking nice and everything like that. Now, that way the people there are getting drinks and food and uh, you're having another revenue source come in. So uh, concessions is a super important part of this huge facility there uh, in Chesterfield. So uh, going to the next one kind of goes with concession as well. Supervising athletic complex to the shift. So, this is one of the most important parts of the internship and kind of the main thing is you're out there by yourself supervising um, the whole complex, either that's in the morning or that's at night. It really just depends on which ones you get scheduled for, but you're out there and you're in charge of concession, you're in charge of the facility. You're supervising pretty much everything. You have a supervisor phone, people call you to, um, if there's a problem, if they need something, uh, which really help improve leadership skills and, um, you know, things like that. But uh, like when I was saying it connects with concession is you're managing those concession people and, and things like that. You are the supervisor on site. And it's really an important task that uh, a sport management intern has. And then uh, the last really task uh, I put on here was help with just for the summer camp. Uh, this year they needed more camp counselors because they were running a little bit low uh, because camp switched divisions within Chesterfield. So it was kind of last minute on one of the people and it was difficult to find more. So I uh, said I would fill in for summer camp, which was a good change of pace and uh, it's, it's different, but it, it's also an area in Parks and Rec that was pretty important. So uh, that was another area that I filled in. and uh, It was a good time. So those are kind of the daily tasks. Going into this internship, I had two really uh, big goals to, for myself. The first one being um, to improve communication. Going through internships, uh, communication has been one of the things I've always wanted to improve. Never been the best at communicating, uh, whether that's, uh, verbally through something like this or, you know, talking to people, making that good connection and networking. Uh, so I really wanted to focus on that, really make good connections, uh, whether that's with the peers that I'm uh, interning with 
or with the higher ups there, um, maybe the director or uh, one of the superintendents, just really um, going out there, asking questions um, and making that really good connection with them. I wanted to improve upon that uh, as well as improve upon my nonverbal communication uh, emails and, and more things like that, uh, because those are really important when it comes to sports industry, you're going to email a bunch of people, whether that's, you know, reaching out to people for a new job um, or, you know, just emailing daily back to back uh, or back and forth. So uh, I really wanted to do that. And it's something I did. We had a project where uh, we had to reach out to a bunch of other facilities, see what they're doing with their facilities, see what we could do differently. Uh, and that really helped me, uh, make new emails and, you know, kind of improve my number of communication. Uh, but then going into the next goal, which was a really important goal to me and uh, something I wanted to improve on for my last internship, uh, which was being uh, or just improving my leadership skills, uh, taking more on, uh, taking more of a lead when it comes to the internship. Yeah. Uh, like I said, stepping up and doing more. Uh, so this one kind of goes with the daily task, which I didn't really know going into the internship, uh, but it was amazing. So being out there by yourself and, you know, learning as you go forward, and you know, improving every day, um, it really helped improve my leadership skills. Um, so every day there was different. There's always a new problem. There's um, always something that I was learning. Um, but whenever, you know, you're out there by yourself, you have to learn by yourself. You have to help lead these people. Um, so that really helped improve my leadership skills, which was one of the biggest goals I had. Because the last internship, I really wanted to step up more, but I didn't. And this one, I really got to do that because um, I was sprung out there by myself and and I really had to adapt and change and uh, learn how to be more assertive and, and be a leader, which uh, really went with one of my goals. And I feel like I achieved that one really, really well. Uh, what did I learn through this internship? Uh, better leadership skills. Like I said, you're out there. There's new problems. Uh, you have to lead them. And, uh, yep, leadership skills was just one of the biggest ones. Uh, and I've kind of gone – to the next one, which was problem solving skills. And, you know, you're getting calls from different people, whether that's concession people, um, uh, tournament directors from other, you know, you know, other tournaments. So there's so many other like tournament directors that come through uh, the complex. So they all have different needs and wants. So you're just really, you're getting problems and you have to solve them really quickly um, on your feet. Actually, for example, there was one time uh, I was out there on a complex by myself and there was a 3v3 soccer tournament and the sprinklers just went off in the middle of the game. Uh, I had to think, click on my feet, figure out what I had to do uh, to turn them off and get everything back to normal, uh, which, which we did. Uh, but it was just one of those problems that you had to get done quickly and uh, really just adapt to the situation and solve it. So problem solving skills was a huge one that uh, I did learn. And then the last one was something that I just thought about was uh, you get what you put into it. Uh, this internship, I really wanted to put my all into it. And I realized that I got a lot more out of it if I just put uh, more into it, uh, which I know it sounds silly, but it, it just it made sense to me uh, where you know, I did put more into it, so I got a lot more out of this internship, and it, and it really showed um, to the people there on how hard I was working. Takeaway slash growth. Um, one of the things uh, I really took away from this was work ethic goes a long way. Uh, you know, when I was there, I kept getting a lot of um, compliments uh, from these little things like you know, just taking out the trash. Um, that was one of the things that I said in my last internship that you're never too big for uh, these small things and if you do them to the best of your ability uh, it really shows and people really uh, really think you care and 
which they really love and uh, just your work ethic goes a long way in showing people that you're a good worker, you really care about this job uh, and you want to be there. So it's one of the most important things uh, that I learned. The next thing I, uh, I wanted to, I took away from this was the initial connections you make with your peer are super important. Um, and, you know, as you go forward, networking is super important. But that first connection you make, that first impression that you make um, is super important, especially when you're going into a new internship uh, with people that may have been there for 15 years or something like that. Um, making that initial connection is uh, super important to get yourself out there, get yourself more comfortable, and um, just let everyone know that you want to be there uh, as much as they want to be there too. So, and then going into the last area, um, take away from this was there's so many more areas of sports that I didn't think about, and many people may not be thinking about. Um, you know, going into it, I thought the big four like, you know, leagues, like MLB and, and NBA and stuff like that were, um, you know, the only areas of sports that you really could go into. But uh, parks and recreation is a huge area within sports, especially there in Chesterfield. They have one of the biggest complex here in Missouri. So um, it was just eye-opening to see how broad um, the spectrum is when it comes to sports. There's so many areas you can go into um, and don't narrow, narrow yourself down when it comes to stuff like this. Uh, really put out your, your yourself out there and, um, you know, reach out to people with these guest speakers and stuff like that. Because there's so many other sports that uh, you may not be thinking about, as I did. Uh, what I would tell my younger self, continue to network and make those meaningful connections. It means so much. Uh, if I wouldn't have, you know, networked and put myself out there uh, and made a connection with Kevin, uh, my superintendent at Chesterfield, I wouldn't have got this internship, which um, wouldn't have helped with the growth that I've had so much there at Chesterfield. So uh, keep making those connections. Uh, again, continue, keep continuing and improve your leadership skills. Leadership is going to be one of the most important things when it comes to the sport industry, which is why I wanted to continuously improve it. Um, and this internship was a huge step forward, but I know there's so much more room for improvement. Um, so just keep improving on leadership skills. Uh, and then finally, take every opportunity that is given uh, and give it your all. Goes back to the work ethics thing, you know, and, and putting what you get into it. No matter what the situation is, whether it's, you know, you're put into a bad situation, just roll with it. Take every opportunity, learn from it, uh, because every opportunity you can learn from it. And, you know, if you put your all into it, you may get, you know, credit for what you're doing. Everyone sees that, uh, that you're putting your heart into it, um, even the small stuff. So just take every opportunity when it comes to you. Uh, advice for incoming students. When it comes to the, the sports industry, LinkedIn is super important. This is how you may get new internships, new jobs, um, reach out to different people. LinkedIn is basically your best friend when it comes to stuff like that, especially really early on. Uh, so take LinkedIn super, um, pretty seriously. Uh, take action now instead of later. When I, when I first transferred over to OMSL, going to the sports uh, management program, I didn't check any emails. I didn't really do anything. I waited just to go to class and do what I had to do, um, which really put me behind. So take action now, check your emails, uh, start reaching out to people, you know, get internships and stuff like that. Um, because if you do that now, you're going to be way more prepared uh, than you ever will be. You know, we'll put you miles ahead of uh, people that aren't taking action. So take the action, uh, ask questions. Never heard that question. I used to be the person that kind of just waited for someone else to ask the question and be like, okay, uh, now, you know, now my, my question's answered. But then sometimes my question wouldn't get asked and I wouldn't know what, you know, what's going on or what to do. It's never hurts to ask questions. It, it's super important. Um, and people, you know, when you're asking questions, people know that you want to learn and you really care. So ask as many questions as you want, whether that's, at a place that you're going to internship or whether that's in class, it doesn't hurt. Uh, and then finally, 
uh, meet with Dr. Valeska. She will help with anything you need. Um, she is just the best when it comes to really helping us get our foot into the sports industry. So she'll help with resumes. She'll help with emails. She'll, she'll just help with anything. So meet with Dr. Valeska. Talk with what you want to do. Um, it's just really a super important thing that you got to do um, because she is there to help and she's she, yeah, she's just the best. So, uh, advice for current students um, again goes back to what I've been saying. Work ethic means so much. Um, you know, if you're putting your heart and soul into an internship, it's really going to show people are going to know that you care, and um, which is the best feeling. So. Um, keep you know improving that work ethic put your put your soul into it and, and really uh, have the best work ethic when it comes to um, if you, you got to be the best intern out there basically so do that uh, keep improving your network and making those good connections um, it goes back and I know um, if you're a current student we, we talk about this all the time but networking networking um, on LinkedIn and stuff like that we, you know, it's just super important because that's how you're getting jobs. That's how you're getting your name out there into the sports industry. So just keep doing that, um, which many of us are. Uh, don't settle and just keep improving. You just want to like, you know, what, one of my goals, my advice is just improving on leadership skills, improving on this, uh, improving on that communication or something like that. We're never perfect. Uh, we can always be improved. And you can always do better at something. Um, so just keep improving our goals and, and just don't settle for what we think is um, our best because in the end, we can always improve. Uh, and then going to, you know, current students is just volunteer for stuff, um, whether that's small things uh, here in Missouri or St. Louis or whatever it is, or going to things like Final Four uh, or tournaments that um, the sport management group does which is uh super fun go out there put your name out there it's a great time um and you learn so much from these real world experiences uh, so really go out there and volunteer and that's my really big advice for current students because i was a person that would never do something like that um, but i put myself out there and it was one of the best decisions i ever made so volunteer for things um, and and really learn from these uh, real world experiences uh, advice about the sport management program. Guest speakers are going to come in every week and they're, they're just one of the most important aspects and one of the best aspects when it comes to this uh, sport management program. This is actually the reason, like I said, on how I um, connected with Kevin uh, from Chesterfield and how I got this internship. I wouldn't have known anything about parks and recreation um, or these areas of sports if it wasn't for guest speakers that come in. So take these guest speakers super serious, connect with them uh, because they could be where you go to next, whether that's internship or job. So really take that seriously. Uh, hands-on and involved. This program is super hands-on, super involved. Um, they want you to get, get you going, get you out there and, um, you know, going around to trips and different internships i hear about you know how umsil is really improving super great uh, and that is because it's a hands-on and involved program uh, we don't really do much writing if any um, and it's mostly videos and interacting with people um, interacting with peers whether that's on videos or stuff like that um, which is great i love the hands-on involved way of this program and once you adapt to it you do you would you won't want to go back to um, any other way. So that's uh, one of the things we do. Uh, and then another piece of advice would just be connect with everyone within Umso Sport Management. Everyone here, uh, you know, we all have different goals when it comes to things, but we all want to see each other succeed, um, and we are all willing to help out. So connect with everyone on LinkedIn um, or just connect with in person. Either way, just connect with everyone within sport management because we all can help out each other um, when it comes to the sports industry. So we all want to see each other succeed. So uh, yep, connect with everyone uh, and just you know, reach out. Uh, conclusion. 
so really this internship has not only helped me grow personally, but professionally as well. And it's been a great experience when it comes to Chesterfield Valley um, Athletic Complex and just being with uh, Chesterfield, the city of Chesterfield in general. Uh, you know, I've learned so much through this summer, more than I thought I would um, in that small amount of months. Um, and the growth has been great for me. Um, so this internship has been great and an awesome learning experience. So in conclusion, um, it has exceeded my expectations when it comes to the, the internship. Um, but thank you for you know watching and I appreciate um, all the people that are watching and, and the people at Chesterfield as well. So thank you.